and I'm starting to understand what a typical Lobo is. It's a bit like a fixed-rate mortgage, but with three twists. Twist one, they can run for decades, up to 70 years. Twist two, councils have to pay huge penalty fees if they want to move to a better deal. And twist three, the banks have the option of putting up the rates. It sounds like the banks hold all the cards, but were Lobo such a bad deal? At the time, they offered a slightly lower interest rate than a government loan. I'm off to see a city expert. These council officers thought they were getting a good deal. They were getting a low teaser rate and it was working like a normal fixed rate mortgage. But they didn't understand that actually this was a lose-lose bet for them and that if interest rates went down, they'd be faced with crippling breakage costs. And if interest rates went up, the banks would increase the rates. Lobos are costing councils millions of pounds in extra interest because they're paying higher interest than they would be if they could go out and refinance and borrow at lower rates. 